morning. My name is Diane. I'm your CNA, and I'm going to give you a bed bath. What is your name? Olivia. Olivia, is that what you'd like me to call you? Sure. Okay, Olivia. I'm just going to take a few minutes and use my hand sanitizer and wash my hands. And what I'm going to do is really wipe. I'm going to make sure I cover all the surfaces of my hands really well with this hand sanitizer, and I'm going to rub until my hands are dry. Okay, and this will protect you against any chances of infection. So, how are you doing this morning? Good. Okay, good, good. So, are you ready for a little bath? Sure. Now, in this scenario, what we're going to do is only give a partial. We're only going to do her face, arm, hand, and underarm. However, in this skill, you have to simulate for the examiner as if you're doing the whole body. Okay? So, we're going to do that. So now that I've got my hands really nice and clean and dry, I'm going to check your bed breaks to make sure everything is safe here. We're always safety, safety first. So I'm going to lock my brakes on the wheels. And then I'm going to get my supplies and then I will pull my privacy curtain and raise the bed. So for this skill, the supplies I'm going to need is a bath blanket. I am going to need two towels, one to be a barrier for my table and one to act as a barrier to protect the bed so I don't get it messy. And then for this skill, you can use three or four washcloths. And then in real life, you would use gloves. But for this, since we're just doing a partial, I am not going to put on gloves. The other thing we need is a bath basin. Close again. I'm okay, I'm going to put the barrier down on the table. And I am going to move your water so I don't spill it. And your carbon will just be right here. And I need one more thing. Can anybody tell me what that is? I need a clean gown for her. I want to make sure our residents get clean clothes. So we're going to get that. Now that I've got my supplies, I'm going to go get some fresh water. I'll be right back. Hey, I've got some warm water. And would you like to test it to see if it's okay for you? Okay, I can check it with my elbow, make sure it's a comfortable temperature, it's not going to burn her. And I've got my soap. So now I'm going to pull my curtain to provide privacy for her, and I'm going to raise a bit the bed so it's a comfortable height for my back. Thing we're going to do is the face. 
in the face we never use any soap never ever ever so I want to show you how to use a mitt so that it's easier to wash somebody so what I'm going to do is spread my hand out palm up and I'm just going to wrap this washcloth around my hand and anchor it with my thumb as you see here this excess of the washcloth I'm going to fold over this is an important piece and I am tucking it underneath all right to stabilize it to hold it and now you've got your nice mitt this is real important when you're doing a bed bath so that you can get all the crevices and curves of the person's body and make sure you thoroughly clean them okay whether you wet it before or after the, the washcloth is up to you I prefer getting my washcloth wet wringing it out really well and then forming my mitt which I'll show you again a little bit faster and now I'm ready when we wash the face we have to do the eyes first and we want to do one eye and then use a different part of the washcloth for the other eye so that we're not contaminating the eyes and cross infection. One thing I want to do to make sure that I don't drip water on my resident is I'm going to put the towel over here as a bib just to help. I'm going to wet my washcloth and wring it out well so you're not tracking water before. Now, so we don't cross contaminate. We're going to wash the eyes first. It's the first thing we do. We don't want to cross contaminate one eye with the other eye. So I'm going to use a different part of my mitt to wash the eye. I will use one corner for one eye and the other corner for the other eye. So I am going to take my washcloth and I'm going to wipe from the inner to the outer on the left eye. Use the opposite corner. Same thing. Go from the inner to the outer aspect of the eye. Now I'm going to use the flat of my washcloth to go ahead and wash the rest of her face. Okay. Now with this, I'm going to put it into my basket. I know uh, it's easy because we live in Arizona, especially it's getting when it's warm, to forget that. I can now use my towel for her arm as I move on to the rest of her bath. I am going to raise her arm and put the towel under here. Again, this is to protect the bed from getting it wet. I'm now going to put the sofa on and lather it up. Okay. Okay, we're going to start from the top of the arm and work our way around all over the arm. I am not going to do the armpit because that's the last thing we do because it's the dirtiest. We always go from clean to dirty. I'm going to wash the hands very thoroughly. If you find that the fingernails are dirty, you can actually put your basin on the bed and soak the fingers. It's something that's very soothing. Okay. My last swipe now is going to be for the armpit. I'm going to make two swipes down to clean the armpit. All right. I am not going to throw my washcloth into my basin because that will get my water dirty. I always want to maintain clean water. I'm going to take my second washcloth or third washcloth by now and we're going to rinse. Again making the mitt again starting from the top cleanest going around the whole arm so we're thorough. Make sure they get nice and clean it's very soothing too. You're not only cleansing them, but it's very relaxing for them. Again, I'm going to do my swipes for under the arm. That's the last thing I do. I will throw this into the hamper, and now I will thoroughly dry the arm. It's real important to make sure that you really get the arm dry. And you notice I'm using my same towel that I used to be a protection a barrier to the bed. You can use that or you can get another towel if you want. If you have to really save on linens, if you're in a facility that's really tight on linens, this is a good way to conserve. And the last thing I do is clean the armpits. And again, it's very important to clean the armpits. Otherwise, you can 
If it stays moist, they can develop a fungal infection. All right, now I'm ready to give Olivia her gown. Okay, now we're going to put uh, the gown back on, a uh, clean gown back on Olivia. So I am putting my hand through the arm and sliding up her gown. Same thing with the other arm, sliding it on. Now to ma maintain privacy and dignity, what I like to do is bring up the other covers and then I will remove the bath blanket. And that way she stays warm and you may again maintain that privacy and dignity. And when you remove your bath blanket, you want to make sure, can you, Olivia, hold on to the top sheets for me? Remove it away from her face. And deposit it in your hamper. Okay. So now, before I get and take care of my supplies, I'm going to lower the bed. So you do not want to walk away from the bed. Okay. Now that I've lowered my bed, I'm going to open my curtains and I am going to take my supplies and so I can dump my water, get rid of my towel. I'm emptying my water. going to dry my basin. Very important to make sure you dry all of your equipment, otherwise it will mildew and it will smell and not be useful. Now I'm going to return my soap. Okay. So I'm going to put my basin back into the storage area where I got it at the bedside table. I am now going to clean my hands with hand sanitizer again making sure that I cover all my surfaces of my hands and I'm going to rub until it's dry. You just need a little bit. I'm going to give Olivia her water, her call light. Olivia, is there anything else I can do for you? No. Okay. Here's your water and call light and ring me if you need anything. <laughs>